It's the sombre anniversary of a boating tragedy, perhaps best known for the famous song it inspired. Tonight, the songwriter is in Worcester performing what promises to be a powerful show. Our Olivia Lemon explains. It's a special day uh, for me to be, to be doing the, the song uh, here in Worcester. And uh, the people are going to hear it. Uh, I'm going to really sing it well, of course. <laughs> as I always uh, do try to do. The legend lives on from the Chippewa home down. Gordon Lightfoot is the reason people know the story of the Edmund Fitzgerald. On the 40th anniversary of the ship sinking in Lake Superior, the Canadian singer-songwriter is performing at the Hanover Theatre. They got caught up in, in a perfect storm, which occurs every few years up in Lake Superior. And every man knew as the captain did to twist the witch of northern beer from stealing. Lightfoot says over the years he has met family members of the 29 men lost in the boating disaster. He says he was a boater himself in the Great Lakes, which is why he was so interested in the sinking. I did not want to offend anyone. I wanted them to, to love the song. Lightfoot says he plans to talk about the ship tonight, but hopes the song will tell the story. I was wondering what, what the effect would be, you know, if someone were to hear this song. So I was very, very careful about what I wrote. Lightfoot says each of his shows are a little different. He says many of his song lyrics are from his experiences of romance and traveling. I rotate all the other material around because I have so many songs that it's, you can't do them all in, in an evening, you know, and they're, and they're all good and they're all, they're all valid. And, so you got to keep rotating things around the standards. Lightfoot is back in Worcester for the first time since 1992, and on this special anniversary, he promises his message will be powerful. It's like a novel, like a like a, a novel that catches on, you know, about a real event that occurred. Olivia Lemon, 